Wizards, Wizards, Witches, and Muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today, we are back in the magical kitchen. That's right. Uh, lots of you have been requesting these, so let's make a disaster, shall we? No, today I'm going to be making something that I have never attempted ever before, and it is fudge. Fever fudge, to be exact, from the Skyving snack boxes. Fred and George would be so proud or at least I hope they will. Um, I haven't made it yet, but we shall see. If you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to come part of our weird, magical online family. Uh, also, if you would like to try to make this along with me, the recipe will be down below. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna make such a mess, oh God. Okay then, so yeah, all the ingredients and everything are gonna be down below, and I've got my recipe here on my iPad. So apparently I have to line a small, loaf pan, um, which is here, with parchment paper and grease. So I have got my parchment papier and I've also got this olive oil cooking spray, which is a bit of a novelty, isn't it? Are you gonna... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's, um... <laughs> Delightful. It smells very bizarre, I squirted on my hand, oh god. I don't really know how to line things that aren't circular, so we're gonna wing it. Okay, so I've actually got some scissors. Now, on the picture that I saw, they didn't line it properly, they just kind of lined it that way, but I think I'd rather do it correctly. Um, oh, I probably shouldn't have greased it first. I need a pencil. Wait there. I'm definitely not out of breath at all. Uh, so, move my hair. And also, I'm not wearing my time turner today because it was getting in the way of the mic. Every video that I don't wear it, where's your time turner? Cherry's not wearing her time turner. Why is she not being magical today? Technical issues, so yes. And just before people are like, oh, you haven't got your hair up either and you're cooking. My kitchen, my food. I'm good, I don't mind eating my hair. Okay, so I am gonna carefully go along the edge of the pan with a pencil and cut it out. <laughs> snippy, snippy, snippy. Okay. And then I cut up the corners like so, in the middle, bop, bop, bop. And then I kind of just squish it in like so. Oh, it's almost like I'm a professional. Don't be jealous. I'm like, yeah, I'm really good at that. That'll do, I think. No, I'll do, I won't be lazy. Don't be lazy, Cherry. Pro, a professional. Right, where did that squish go? Funnies? I've never had a spray oil before. Okay, then we're just gonna. Oh, dang it. I need another half. No! Ow! That's the worst lime tin I've ever done, but. It'll do. We haven't even started baking yet. <laughs> right. A lined tin that is very well executed, I hear you say. Yeah. Right, let's actually get to the cooking part, shall we? Right, we have lined a loaf pan with parchment paper and grease. Place the white chocolate, right, so I need three cups of white chocolate chips, but I found bars, bars of chocolate. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that. And you know what? I've not eaten sugar for like a month and a half, maybe two months. Um, oh, love white chocolate, so this is like torture. It's almost like 
I know what I'm doing. What am I meant to do with this? I meant to put the chocolate in with the condensed milk. Have I ever used condensed milk before? Never in my life. I don't even know what it is. I just know that it makes nice tasty treats, or at least that's the plan. Okay, so one cup, bam. If you thought that I had a bin down here, I don't. It's just going on the floor. <laughs> oh God, it's so good. I haven't had chocolate for so long. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna regret this, but it's so good. This is so much chocolate and so much mess. <laughs> in for good measure. Can't hurt, can it? I mean, probably it's a recipe. Right, we have got chocolate in bowl and now it's for the condensed, I don't even know what condensed milk looks like, genuinely. So let's, bam. Oh, oh, she's escaping. Nobody asked you to escape. Wow, it looks weird. Okay. It looks like really weak custard. Mate, why have I not bought cans of this before? Right. Oh, look at that. And that's what you come to my channel to see. <laughs> right, so apparently, now that these are there, they're in a microwave safe bowl and I need to microwave at 30 second intervals. It's like hit training, but for food. Um, stirring in between until everything's melted and it's all incorporated. Okay, I think we can do that, 30 seconds at a time. Oh, it hurts to bend right now. I've worked out recently. Ow, 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 ow. And I know that people are like, why is your microwave in a cupboard near the floor? Because it is. <coughs> It's the secret microwave. Boop. Right. Now we wait. <sighs> do you like pina colada? Do, 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 do. Have you melted yet? Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing something. You need to go in again. But is this really how you make fudge? Surely not. It smells divine. What other song shall we sing? No, my brain's empty. I'm singing with the microwave. This is what I do. I do it with my printer. I do it with everything. I like to make noises of the oven as well. And I surprise them single. <laughs> right. Ooh, okay. Oh, hello there. OMG. Okay, she needs a mix. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Is this what heaven looks like? I think it might be. we could get away with another 30 seconds. This looks so good. Do I? Oh, that's very nice. It helps if you shut the door. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we need half and half because this fudge, obviously one side, do you mind my quiff? It's all right, we'll wait. <laughs> on one side of the fudge, it's meant to be spicy and hot. And then on the other side is, which is the red side. And then on the other side is the cooling side with the vanilla and it's blue. And 
I'm ready. I'm so ready to do this. No, if this turns out good, I'm gonna be so proud. Okay. Ooh, she's got wrinkly. Don't think you meant to do that. Right, we are fully, oh, this smells so good. Oh, I just wanna pour it all over myself. Into my mouth, really. That's what I want to do. Okay, so I need half of this into this bowl. How are you meant to do that? I don't know how to do half and half. Let's, um, hmm. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Did I pour too much in? No. Get in, get in your bowl. Is that about half you reckon? Yeah. Made a mess around the edge. Mm. 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 Okay, I think that's half. We're gonna go with it. So, now that we've got half in a bowl, in one of the bowls, I need to add cinnamon and cayenne pepper. And I don't really like these two things, so if it is this is a recipe I'm not gonna love, but let's try it. So you need half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or double if you want it really spicy, which personally, I do not. And then, okay, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Teaspoon, teaspoon. Right, so this is gonna be the red side, I think, and a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay. Oh, this feels like so wrong putting cinnamon into this glorious, glorious nectar. And then half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That should not go with chocolate. Disgusting. Okay, so this is the red side. Uh, Mm, red food coloring. Okay, I've, ne I've not got a good track record with uh, food coloring because it's always so weak and I end up using the whole tube. I've tried different brands. Does anyone know a good brand of food coloring? I think I'm gonna stir this to begin with. Oh, it's so wrong. You were so delicious before and now I've just ruined you. Get on in. I've made it look like that weird sauce that you get on a, what are those prawn things? What are those prawny starters? Prawny starters. Prawn crack, prawn, no, not prawn crackers. Oh, prawn cocktail, <laughs> yes. Okay. Doesn't, does it say how much to use? I don't think it wants to come out, to be honest. Start with small amounts, right? Hello? Oh, you need, <laughs> need to cut the end off. Bam, okay. Ooh. Small amount. <laughs> small amount indeed, all right. Okie dokie then, this doesn't look that great, or pink. Okay, that looks good. Let's mix that all together. I'm gonna say it looks good, does it? Does it though? Okay. Oh God, this is hard to stir. Oh, it's getting stiff. Um. Add to loaf pan, okay. I will do as I'm told. Right. Oh God, it's heavy. Get in there. Plop. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's satisfying. Doesn't it look like I'm on a professional baking channel? The answer is yes. God, I can smell that spice. I can smell the cinnamon. Oh, I need more than one arm, help. <laughs> oh no, I'm not strong enough to do this. Help, help, help. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna drop it. Oh no, okay, oh, that's better. Let's try that again, shall we? I'm trying to get all of that from around the edges as much as possible. Oh God, 
Oh, she's heavy. They need to make these bowls lighter. Oh. I'm gonna have to use a spoon. I'm not good at holding things. wore me out. <laughs> Pour in tap pan on the counter to level the top and release all the air bubbles and then ref refrigerate until set. Right so we've got it all in there and then I need to bang it out. My neighbours are gonna hate me but I don't care. in the fridge now then. Cool. See? Professional. <laughs> I will see you guys. How long do I have to leave it? It says refrigerate until set. Yeah, but how long? <sighs> oh. Time for TikTok. Okay guys, so the red half of my fever fudge is still in the refrigerator, refrigerating. Uh, I'm now gonna start on the blue side, which is a lot more simple. It's simply blue food coloring and vanilla extract or Madagascan vanilla. Okay, so how much, how much vanilla extract? Half a teaspoon. I love vanilla. So this side is gonna taste like just nice fudge. Hang on, this has got pepper on it. Do not infect the good side. Okay, so vanilla, let's open it on up. Oh God. What is wrong with me? That smells good. I feel as though I'm gonna really enjoy this side. So half a teaspoon of this deliciousness. And we're just gonna, oh yeah, bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got very excited. And then I'm gonna give that a stir. Oh, this side's gonna be heavenly. I just know it. Oh. Okay. And then we need to make it blue. Okay, apparently this food color gel is extra strong. I disagree. I feel as though it was quite hard to make the red red. Okay, let's, you know, just, just a few drops. <laughs> Ooh, pretty, ew. Sorry, put my hand in it. Oh, it looks like the sea. It's not blue though, is it? It's kind of turquoise because this chocolate's... Oh, it's so pretty though. It's one of my favorite colors. It's like turquoise mint color, but you're meant to be blue. You know what that means. Extra strong food coloring. I told you, all food coloring is just awful and they never go the right colors. I'd say that's a good color now. It's still not blue though, is it? It's like turquoise. It'll do. It's as blue as it's gonna get. Okay, right, let's get the red one out and dollop this all on top, shall we? I think that's the next step. Are you set? Ooh, look. So we have the first layer and, oh, it's definitely getting quite firm. It's firm enough for me to put this on top. Now I think, mm, do I go with a spoon? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the spoon because I struggled to pick the bowl up last time. Okay. Oh, this might actually look quite good, you know. Are you gonna stop dribbling? Any time today. Oh God, this might be a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> I have outsmarted the fudge. This might be one of the coolest looking things I've ever attempted to make, if I'm being absolutely honest. Stop here. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop dripping. Hey, skills. Skills. Don't judge me. Mm. Ooh, that blue side is good. It is. It's true. This is so messy. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, that was a white bit there. Oh, oh no, I'm ruining it. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around. Give it a little bit of a, you know, finesse. Then it's time to do the thing again. this into the freezer this time uh, just to speed it on up yeah and then we get to take it out and cut it and try it <sighs> who thinks this is gonna have worked or who thinks that the red side is gonna be nice I don't think it will be but we'll try <laughs> okay oh it looks nice in the Sun <gasps> pretty okay let's see if there's any space in my freezer shall we there is And now we wait. Okay, so I'm gonna go check to see if the fudge has set yet. Uh, I've left it in there for about 10, 15 minutes. I shall go and investigate. Ooh, Ooh hello. Oh, yes. Oh, it's still a little bit soft. Mm. Mm, I think I can get away with freezing that for another 10 minutes. Oh, Ben and Jerry's in that freezer. Keep visiting it every time I go. Saving it for my birthday. I don't know how firm it's meant to be, to be honest. Is it meant to be soft to touch? I know fudge isn't like rock solid. Hi, welcome to my garden of dreams. These are all my plants that I'm killing. <laughs> no cows today though. Checking. Fever fudge, take three. <sighs> I'm just gonna get it out. Oh yes, oh she's a heavy boy. Hmm, smells like fish fingers. <laughs> okay. <sighs> That's as set as it's gonna get. Um, I think we can cut it. I don't know how to get it out. Hello cat, do you wanna come and help cut some fudge? Come on then. Sasha, come here. Oh, hello, do you want some fudge? You can't, because you're a kitty. Oh, yes, you're a kitty. Kitty, 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 hello. Oh, you're so floofy. Look at what your pretend mommy has made. <laughs> you look very impressed. Blop. Once fully set, remove fudge from the pan and cut into strips. Okay. A knife is required. If you're using knives at home, ask your parents permission. Don't cut your fingers off, because that would be bad. Okay, um, I don't know how. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay. Oh, this looks weird. Okay, okay, I don't hate it. It's kind of looking like it should, I think. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, this is quite satisfying to take off, to be honest. Okay, 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 right. Now we're gonna cut it. Oh, <laughs> it's like Play Doh. We're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut the edges off because I don't want to see. Because I want it to look like a professional has made this. Which it definitely doesn't. Oh. Oh god, it's stuck. Like, should I saw it or <laughs> I mean We've kind of got half and half there, haven't we? Oh no, I'm just gonna ruin it, I think. I would say that that looks kind of feeble fudge-like. It is quite soft though, I was expecting it to be a little bit firmer. It does feel like fudge. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
So we've got a peppery side, which is the red side, and then a cooling side, which is the blue. I think that looks all right, you know? It, I was expecting worse. I was genuinely expecting worse. <laughs> I won't lie, this is quite messy. But it actually looks like fudge. Like, are we surprised? I think I've surprised myself. Don't handle knives the way I'm handling them. <laughs> I'm kind of excited, but also terrified to try this. I feel like I should have like set it that little bit more. But hey, we're here now. We're all in this together. And these are like the most uneven, you know, um, <laughs> you know on the Great British Bake Off, they're like, right, you need to make 12 identical pieces. Failed. <laughs> I have failed already. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Voila, fever fudge. Isn't it great? Um, I was gonna try this pit. Uh, so let's try the red side. Oh God, I forgot it's got pepper in it. I can definitely, there is some kick in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can taste the pepper. Okay, let's try the blue side, which is apparently the cooling side. Mm. Blue side's the best side. Okay, that's not a complete disaster. <laughs> wow, I'm just gonna pop that down. Come here. Melts. I feel as though I need to put this in the fridge. <laughs> um, that's it. We, we've got to the end. It's <laughs> slightly anticlimactic, but um, okay, so my overall thoughts, it's quite a fussy process to make. It looks okay. Was I expecting it to be less sticky? I think so. But I don't know if that's something I did wrong or I just didn't let it set for long enough. I'm sure all the pro bakers will be in the comments. They usually are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, the flavors are there. So the red side does have a kick. It is fiery, it's spicy, hot, 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 hot. Um, but also the blue side, it's cooling. It tastes really nice. Um, yeah, I would call that a success. I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing that I've made. And the chunks are quite big. But I could imagine that coming from Fred and George and their snack, skiving snack box. Absolutely. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave them down below in a comment. And if you did enjoy this magical kitchen, then don't forget to leave, no, already said that. Don't forget to give me magical thumbs up. <sighs> professional today, yes. Uh, also, let me know some suggestions for future magical kitchens. Uh, if you haven't checked out my previous ones, then go check them out. There is a playlist on my channel. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna put these in the fridge so they don't like melt into like a gloop, 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 because my hands are currently very gloopy right now. Um, okay, thank you for joining me on this magical, culinary adventure. Now, I'm not 100% sure how fudge is actually made because I've personally never made it in my life and this seemed a little bit too easy just mixing white chocolate with condensed milk. I'm pretty sure that's not the way to do it. Mm? Eh, who knows? Uh, I will have a little Google to see how you're meant to make it but I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know, do you, do you guys know how to make fudge? I do not. Uh, maybe I'll try this again sometime with a more complex recipe, who knows? But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a magical thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for future magical kitchen recipes that you would like to see me try out. So far I've made butter beer, chocolate frogs, Aunt Petunia's cake, and Harry's birthday cake, which is iconic. That one actually turned out quite well, to be honest. But yeah, leave some suggestions down below on what you'd like to see in more of these episodes. Uh, yeah, I made it. I'm, I'm honestly kind of shook that it kind of looks right. I've got the layers, I've got the colors, after a lot of food coloring, um, and the flavors are there. So I would rate this a solid six or seven out of 10, and I, I'd only say six, oh, 
I did not. <laughs> Sex? Wow. Okay, it's it's that kind of kitchen episode. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, <laughs> I would only rate it lower because the presentation is it's not really there, is it? It doesn't look neat. You wouldn't want to pick this up from like a sweet confectionery store. Um, I tried. And you know, that, that's my motto in life. As long as you're trying and you try your best, that's all you can do. And we're gonna leave this Cherry's Magical Kitchen episode on that very deep and poetic note. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will read the comments and stuff. I'm gonna go and feed this to people. <laughs> See you guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Didn't really eat it acting. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. Thank you. Right. I can see you watching. <laughs> <laughs>